I'm Scott Allen Miller, and we're working on putting together a series of expatting skills to make the process of moving to a new country easier. And today, we're going to take a quick one. We're going to talk about why you need to spend a little bit of time learning about the money of the country you're moving to. Of course, you've at this point, we assume you've already decided where you're going to be relocating. And so what I recommend is taking a little bit of time. This is a very quick exercise, but something that people often skip, taking a moment to learn what the currency is of that country and how it works. A little bit of knowledge about currency will go a long way, and each country generally has its own monetary system. Now, some places, like Panama, are incredibly easy. They do print their own money, but it is one-to-one -one tied to the U.S. dollar, and so even though it is its own currency, it's just the U.S. dollar, and they're interchangeable. Coming to some place like Nicaragua, we're a dual currency country, and that throws people off. It's a little bit confusing, and they don't know how to work with things. But a little bit of explanation, a little bit of research, which of course we have here on this channel because we cover a lot about Nicaragua, is going to make that very simple because one of those currencies is the U.S. dollar, so you can just use that. And converting to Cordoba is super easy because the state bank sets the rate on a predictable schedule so you can just know what it is, and locals can help you move back and forth as well. El Salvador has a new monetary system that is very complex, but also du dual currency, also working with the U.S. dollar, but with cryptocurrency, definitely something you want to put a little bit of effort into learning. Ecuador is just on the U.S. dollar as well, but lots of countries like Brazil or Cambodia, Vietnam or China, they all have their own currencies that free float and are not tied to the U.S. dollar, and all of those things are really important. Just You don't have to learn world monetary currencies. You just have to learn the one for the country you're going to be moving to. What is it? What do the denominations look like? How does it get used? And now there's some things you won't be able to answer until you're on the ground, most likely. But a lot of things you can. But you definitely can take a 5 to 15 minute uh, exercise and make sure you know what the money's going to look like, what to expect, and get a really good feeling for what its value is compared to your home currency. Now, if you're coming from the EU, that's the euro. If you're coming from the United States, it's US dollar, Canada, Canadian dollar and so forth, make sure you know what that currency is worth in your own currency so that mentally you can start preparing for what things should cost. In some cases, they're very similar and little differences might throw you off. If you're moving between the U.S. and Canada, it can be very confusing to see things listed in Canadian dollars. For Americans, they seem quite expensive. For Canadians, everything in the U.S. seems really cheap because they're too close. It doesn't always break your mental connection. But here in Nicaragua, when we see things that are 37 times their U.S. equivalent, it's easy to see, oh, yes, yeah, yes, of course, this hot dog does not cost $500. It costs some you, right, you, like you just know the numbers are way off, and you get used to converting 37 to one, and it becomes pretty easy pretty quickly. Some countries, it's thousands to one or odd numbers, 21,312 to one. And you got to learn how to round in a little bit of practice, a little bit of thinking about it, being aware of what it's going to be. It's going to make your move that much easier. So I highly recommend taking a moment to do that. This is something that people just don't think about. And it's not going to cripple you if you don't do it, but it's going to make worrying about that currency a little bit easier. Also, make sure you pay attention to what currencies can be used in the country. Uh, in, in many places, you can use U.S. dollars or euros, uh, and they're generally accepted. Some places will accept it, but only sparingly, only at big businesses or banks. Some places you won't be able to change money. What is that going to happen? And of course, check out the situation with ATMs and such. Look for channels like mine that cover those countries. I cover Nicaragua specifically, and I try to cover a lot of Central America. So this is a good resource for a lot of those. Ask your questions in the comments, of course. But if you're going to, you know, Vietnam, I don't have that information, but there's lots of great Vietnamese uh, YouTubers who are helping you with relocation. They can answer those questions, of course. So do that little bit of research. Know how to get money, how to convert it, how to use it before you go, and that'll just take that one worry, that one concern, that one surprise off of your plate and make your relocation that much smoother. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. I'll see you all tomorrow.